Jasmine I have is she likes a little bit of adrenaline rush once in a while. She joins us live this morning to talk about all things great and big and outdoorsy. Nabila joins us. Good morning, Nabila. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you are uh, the, the technical, the, the, the word that describes you in today's language would be the baus. Have you heard of the word baus? Uh, Have you heard of the word? Bauhaus? No, it's because so it's B A W S E. No, I haven't. So you've got the boss. Okay. And then you got the Baus. <laughs> so the the Baus uh, was coined is, is by a, a lady who's uh, just been voted number one by Forbes magazine in entertainment. Her name is Lily Singh. Okay. And she's just written a book. And it's available here. So and it's called How to Be a Baus. So according to her, the Baus is someone who's overcome life's challenges, who's um, overcome obstacles, hurdles. Um, and looked fear straight into the eye and sort of walked past it. And that seems to describe you. Would that, would, would that be fair to say? That's very interesting. I haven't heard that one before. So, Baus is a cross between boss and what? But I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse? No, can't no. be, right? But it's someone who's just, who's just, who is, who is, more than just made it, has has proven themselves through thick and thin, through whatever challenges have come your way. Because I can imagine lots of challenges have come your way. Absolutely. And the way I describe it, I, I took uh, the bull by its horns and I just tackled, you know, all the issues one by one by one. Uh, you know, you, you have choices in life. You can either, you know, ditch them, procrastinate, uh, pretend it's not happening, or, uh, you know, address your worst fears or worst um, weaknesses and um, convert them into your strengths. Now this journey started about 30 years ago for you? Was that well, the hair and makeup, uh, yes. Uh, we, we went, like I got trained. Um, I started very young, I must say that I was hardly 11 years old when right. I was practicing. But officially trained and charging professionally was 32 years ago precisely. So when you say you were, so you were in your teens when you, when you were doing this? Well, no. Before that, but 11. At 11, 11, sorry, 11, I did my mother's friend's, um, you know, haircut. As an experiment? No. She asked me to trim <laughs> her hair. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, how can she trust an 11-year-old? Well, how did she trust an 11-year-old? I know. And I, I went like, you know, from a crooked line, I kept going up trying to balance it. And I got rid of like almost six inches of her hair. But she had the faith in me. So, was there a point in these decades, three or so decades of your career, and obviously the, the career has blossomed into something beyond imagination and, and beyond just, you know, to being in the studio, was there, was there ever a point where you stopped and said to yourself, this is just too hard? Was there ever a point or that never came? And no, it, that it, never came. Really? Never. And was there ever a point where you said to yourself, how do I, how do I motivate myself to do what I'm really wanting to do? Would that point ever come to Really? Really. I mean, I've, I've never had to think about motivating myself. Uh, although, having said that, I have promised myself the, the day I don't love what I'm doing, I will mm. not do it. So, so uh, I mean, the good thing is I still love every day, every day that I go, go to work. And uh, whatever uh, bit we are doing that day, and it varies a lot. I, I think what I've done is... Um, cultivated slash designed my career so that we do a few different things. You know, if I were cutting hair in a salon day in and out, I, I think I, I would have uh, burnt out. But, you know, we have ladies cuts, we do a lot of chemical work, we do makeup, we do shoots, we do trends, we do training, we have the gem salon, we do barbering, um, you know, we do nails, um, we do a lot of shoots, we do fashion weeks, now I do this product um, mm. retail, so, you know, there's a lot of R&D, manufacturing, packaging, so, so, so my life is not like a 9 to 5 doing the same thing, I design the month instead and keep it very, very interesting. We're going to talk about that. We're going to go to a break. By the way, feel free to call if you have a question for Nabila. She's here live uh, in the flesh. It's 021 111 191. Good morning.